What's up, friends and family from around the world? This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on April 3rd, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update. As well, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at amazing imagery of our sun for the past two days. 48 hours of imagery. Still, not many sunspots to see. We do have a very long an intense coronal hole that is earth facing right now. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming, we do have an active region getting ready to come in for an earth facing view. Big sunspot on the right hand side and looking at outgoing imagery here. We did have a CME take off from outgoing position and as well as CME taking off from the northern region of our sun, from that plasma filament right there, stretching up probably 20 Earths tall and ripping away from the surface of the sun. Visible on the Lasco coronagraph. And then having a look at multi-spectrum here, there is that intense coronal hole that was Earth facing. And it is turning away, but there is another coronal hole region developing right there and that is ahead of a very large sunspot region active region there creating the CME outgoing looking at another light here just some amazing imagery see our heliosphere in action Magnetic fields of all the sunspots in which there are four that are turning away and two that are turning in. And as I said, one of them is very big. Visible here at another light. This is our sun today. The last 48 hours of imagery. Noting this big blackened circular region along the equator of our sun. Right there. As you can see that black spot turning in and is could probably fit about six Earths inside that circle there. Current space weather conditions, there are none to talk about. Solar winds are coming in at 362 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux down even further now into a lower B range. Dropping off dramatically over the past 48 hours. Solar proton flux is low and so is the geomagnetic activity seeing at a KP1. Space Weather Prediction Center here showing the most recent models. No major space weather events coming our way. Just the void and an intense solar winds from the coronal hole wind stream. Now, a coronal hole is a cooled region on the surface of the sun. And through both sides, the energies, you get intense solar winds propelled from the region. There's Iswa's most latest CME prediction. Having a look at Lasco 3. You can see that most recent plasma filament taking off from the northern region, creating a coronal mass ejection. Just some amazing images here of that spewing out into the abyss. And our sun is about to perform a stellar event across North America. Total solar eclipse coming up April 8th. Interesting correlations throughout history along total solar eclipses and large earthquakes. Now let's get to earthquakes. The past 24 hours, deepest being there, Vanuatu. And as well, notable here, mid-Indian Ridge, 5.0 magnitude. Aftershocks continuing through Taiwan. Chikabi, Japan, 111 kilometer depth. North American plate, quiet. Most of the energy is over in Taiwan. 
South American plate, notable earthquake there, southern Chile. Now let's get to how many earthquakes are through the region right now of Taiwan. There's been 40 earthquakes, so 38 aftershocks through the region after the 7.4, 6.4 magnitude earthquakes. Hundreds of people still missing, being dug out from crumbled buildings. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody. Having a look at seismographs across the world as this was seen and felt across the world. One of the largest earthquakes Taiwan has seen in 25 years. This is showing all of the seismographs from around the world. From New Mexico to Russia to Barbados, Australia and the Philippines. So very big event happening in Taiwan in the past 48 hours. And I expect these events to continue over the next couple of weeks. Having a look at the last seven days for shakers around the world, most of the activity here on this map is in Taiwan. So things will quiet down across the North American plate as the energy shifts but watch for the Marianas trend to continue what it's been doing as of late and heads up and right now there are 45 active and erupting volcanoes around the world and having a look here this is showing the SO2 models forecast for the next three days still some major eruptions through Mexico Guatemala as well, Northern Hemisphere, lots of SO2 still coming from the Iceland volcano. Right now, there are still two cones left. One of them is just about a dud. But the other one is still a very active cone and lava pit. Having a look here, Southern Hemisphere and Africa. Notable eruption at Fernandina volcano again through the Galapagos Islands and as well Something erupted in Peru, most likely Sabancaya. Now let's get to weather here as we do have a very big low pressure system scooting across eastern United States and Canada right now. And by Saturday and Sunday, watch for another one to come in on the west coast. And then extreme weather breaking out there, long range forecast through the Gulf states. And spring weather is ahead of us here. Big low for the long range, not really sure. If you're going to see the totality of the solar eclipse, overlooking Europe, Africa, multiple lows smashing into Ireland and the United Kingdom this week with very strong winds. So heads up, you're going to see some dangerous waves along the coastlines, strong winds and a lot of moisture. And then watch for a big system to roll up into Iceland for the long range. Overlooking Australia, Southeast Asia. Africa, no major typhoons or cyclones developing, but watching a couple lows here, one west of the Northern Territory of Australia and one that will affect southeastern regions of Australia. And as well, watch for extreme weather to break out through parts of Argentina, southern Brazil this week, Buenos Aires. Intense low pressure system scooting southward into the Antarctic. And then a watch here through South Africa, still forecasting some pretty intense weather there as that big low rolls off of the continent. Especially watch here, heavy, intense hail, extreme weather. Much love, everybody. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.